Hi there, I'm Michelle and I've been asked to create this video blog for my EdTech 533 course, YouTube for Educators. I'm going to talk today about the pros and cons of using YouTube in education. So I'm going to start off with the pros. I think first of all, YouTube is a great resource. They have tons of educational videos, lots of stuff out there that students can use, um, lots of information that they have access to. Uh, another pro for YouTube is that it's free. Anybody can use it, and it's also accessible just about anywhere you have an internet connection, whether that's at a computer, an iPad, or even on your phone. So students have access to YouTube even if they're not at their homes. Okay, Anywhere they go, they can have access to it. Um, it's part of their everyday lives. Most students have just a few websites that they go to each day, Facebook, um, Twitter, and probably YouTube. So it's definitely part of their everyday lives. They know how to use it, they know how to upload videos, and they know how to search for videos. Um, another thing is, it's, again, it's easy to use. So another pro of YouTube. Simple to use, simple to share videos. Um, it's engaging. Students will go on to YouTube and just start searching for things. Um, this is how things go viral. Um, one student shows another student and away it goes. Um, it really can help, especially not just YouTube, but videos in general um, are really great for visual learners. I myself am a visual learner, so I need to see something in order to understand it. And even for the auditory learners, um, you know, we're trying to differentiate education, make it particular and specified for each individual student. So having YouTube available can really hit all those differentiated levels of education. Um, with it being easy and accessible and part of students' everyday lives, it makes it simple for them to share information with one another. So if you as the teacher assign a project for them to create a video, it's easy for them to all load them to the same place and share them with one another. Um, you know, YouTube is easy to use, it's simple, so they can all put everything there and be sharing information within minutes. Um, something that I found that YouTube was great for is I teach online and our LMS, our learning management system, had a limit as to the size of the videos that we could post and the number of videos we could post. So because of these limits, I didn't really have the freedom to create the videos that I wanted for my students. So what I did is I created a YouTube channel, put all sorts of limitations on it as far as comments and sharing and um, advertisements and other videos that could be accessible just so that other people could see my videos. I teach in a, for a school that is nationwide and other teachers wanted these resources. So YouTube was really the only way that I could share what I'd created with teachers in other parts of the country. So I think in addition for it being useful for students, it's also useful for teachers, you know, in the whole idea of what education is, being able to share as teachers with one another, I think is an awesome feature of YouTube. Um, now, with all the great things that YouTube can do and all of the pros of using YouTube in education, there are some cons. And a few that I came up with were, number one, advertisements. Um, you can't control the ads that show up on your videos. So anything that you post could have an advertisement attached to it. Um, in the school that I work for, it's really frowned upon to send students, number one, outside of our own system, and number two, to places where they could have advertisements um, as part of their learning. Um, another thing with YouTube, I had mentioned earlier that it's free and accessible to anyone. That can also be a con. Anybody can post anything on YouTube. There's very lim few limitations. So you do run into the issue of having inappropriate comments on videos that you may want to use with your students. Um, on the side of the featured video, there's also other videos listed, and some of those might be inappropriate for what you're looking for um, and providing for your students. So you have to be careful there. Um, another thing with YouTube is that some of it may be copyrighted information. So you could be violating copyright laws by posting on YouTube. Um, 
if you have your students use YouTube to share videos, as I mentioned as a pro, the con to that is that YouTube is a public site. So anything that you post on there is public if you have the settings, you know, for public viewing. And with students, we really have to try to protect their privacy. Um, here in Florida, you know, everything is about FERPA, um, the, you know, protecting students' private information. So as soon as you allow students to post something out there on the internet available for anyone to see, you're violating that restriction of protecting their privacy. So that can be a huge issue for schools and for teachers and for students. Um, another thing with YouTube, if you're using it for videos that you want to use in your classroom, you've got to be careful and make sure you really research and preview those videos because with everybody being able to post whatever they want on YouTube, it doesn't mean that what they're posting is factual. And you do get videos out there that have information that's not correct. Um, just in my research for my playlists, that was our first assignment this year, um, I had a great video I wanted to use and at the very end they added in just a silly comment and it made it that I couldn't use the video. So you've always got to make sure that you're watching them from start to finish before you decide to use something in your class. So overall, those are my pros and cons for using YouTube in education. My main thought is it's a great resource that you can use with limitations and you've got to really be careful about what you're sharing with your students and allowing them to post as part of your class. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Thanks.